When we toss a coin, we get two outcomes. That is, either we get a head or we get a tail. So we say that the sample space is two. We have to understand what are the favorable events here. How many kings are there in a pack of cards? Four. Two dice are cast. So in one die there are six faces. In another die also there are six faces. Whenever they say it is a king or a queen, then we have to multiply. Hello everyone, I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will be working out a few problems on probability. Now, let us see what the first problem holds for us. First, find the probability of head in the toss of a fair coin. Now, when we toss a fair coin, what is the sample space? Sample space means how many outcomes do we have? Now, when we toss a fair coin, toss a coin, so there are two outcomes. So when there are two outcomes, we say that there are sample spaces two. So when we toss a coin, we get two outcomes. That is either we get a head or we get a tail. So we say that the sample space is two. Now we know what is probability. So probability is the probability of getting a head. So favorable event is head. So if I want a head, I consider head as the favorable event. So probability of getting a head or I write it as probability of H is equal to 1 by 2. 1 plus 1. That is 1 by 2. See, here there is a chance of getting a head or a tail. So, the total outcomes. So, we take the probability as favorable events divided by total outcomes. So, favorable event is 1. The total outcome is 2. So, I say that probability of getting ahead is 1 by 2 or we can also write this write it as probability of P plus Q. So probability of P means that is getting the favorable event. Now Q is not getting the favorable event. So P by P plus Q. So this is the probability. So I write it as 1 by 2 or I can write it as the decimal form as 0 0.50. So the probability of getting ahead is 0 0.50. So when I toss a coin, there is an equal chance of getting a head or a tail. So both the chances are there. So it is a 50-50 chance. So that is why I say that probability is 0 0.50. Now the next one is a bag contains 8 tickets which are marked as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Find the probability that a ticket drawn at random from the bag is marked with an even number. Now, first thing is we have to count the total outcomes. Now, what are the total outcomes? Total outcomes is the number of tickets in the bag. So, how many tickets are there? 8. So, the total outcomes is 8. Out of this, the, what is the probability of getting an even number? So, an even number. Now, we have to count the number of even numbers, the tickets marked with even numbers. Now, how many are there? 2, 4 and 6 and 8. So, even numbers are 4. I write it as 2, 4, 6 and 8. So, these we call it as the favorable events. Favorable events. Then, what is the total outcome? 8. So, the probability of getting an even number equals 4 divided by 8. So, when I draw the tickets from the bag 8 times, out of that 4 events are favorable to me. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 that is again 0 0.5. So, the probability of getting an even number is 0 0.5. Next, the second part of the question, a multiple of 4, a multiple of 4. 
Now we have to see what are the multiples of 4. So there is 1, 4 and 8. Only 2 multiples of 4. So multiples of 4 are 4 and 8. So the favorable events is favorable events equals 2. Now the favorable events are 2. Then the total outcome total outcomes are 8. So probability of getting a multiple of 4 equals 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25. So this is the probability 2 by 8. So when I simplify it I get 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 is 0 0.25. Now the next question one card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of playing cards. Find the probability that the, the drawn card is a heart, the drawn card is a king, the drawn card belongs to the red suit, it is a king or a queen and the drawn a card is a king or a heart. So first we have to think of the number of cards in this pack. So number of cards equals 52. So totally we have 52 outcomes, 52 outcomes, okay. Now we say that what is the favorable event here? The first drawn card is a heart. Now out of this 52 cards, we have four types of cards. Now what are the four types? So we have the heart which is 13, then we have the spade also 13, then we have the club which is also 13 and then we have the diamonds which is also 13. So totally we have 13 cards. So out of this 13, so we have the drawn card is a heart. So 13 divided by 52. So in this the first one, the drawn card is a heart. The drawn card is a heart. So what are the favorable outcomes? Favorable events are 13. The total outcomes equals 52. So this will be 13 divided by 52. So this will be equal to 1 by 4. That is equal to 0 0.25. So it is 0 0.25. Now, Next one is the drawn card is a king. Now for the second question, the drawn card is a king. Now we have to understand what are the favorable events here. How many kings are there in a pack of cards? Four. So there are four kings. So the total outcome is 52. So four divided by 52. So this will be when we divide 4 by 52, I can I get 0 0.076. So this is the probability. Now here also I can write it as 13 divided by 13 plus 39. So 13 plus 39 equals 52. I can split it. So this I am writing in the form P by P plus Q. Here also the drawn card is a king. So there are four cards here. So I can write it as 4 by 48 plus 4. So this will be equal to 4 by 52 that is 0 0.076. Now the third one, the drawn card belongs to a red suit. Now we should understand that the red suit has 26 cards and the black suit has 26 cards. So we write here, so the, the drawn card belongs to a red suit. So it will be 26 out of 52. So I will write it as, if I am writing it in P by Q form, it will be 26 divided by 26 plus 26 that is equal to 
1 by 2. So, this is 1 by 2 or 0 0.50. So, the chances of getting a drawn card belonging to a red suit is half. I may get a red card or I can get a black card. Then, fourth answer here, the drawn card is a king or a queen. So, whenever they say it is a king or a queen, then we have to multiply. Now, how many kings are there? Four kings. How many queens are there? Four queens. So, we write it as the drawn card is king or queen. So, this will be equal to 4 plus 4 that is equal to 8 by 52. So, when I simplify this 8 by 52, I get the answer as, so 52, 1's are 52, then, so 8 divided by 52 equals 0 0.1538. So, this is the answer. Then the drawn card is a king or a heart. So, I will write it here. The fifth one, the drawn card is a king or a heart. So, how many kings are there? Four kings. Now, how many heart cards we have? Heart cards are 13. So, totally it is 17. But in this 13, there is a king already. So, I write it as 17 minus 1, 16 divided by 52. So, the probability equals 16 divided by 52 and the answer is 0 0.03076. So, this is the probability of getting a king or a heart. Now, we go to the next problem here. When two dice are rolled, find the probability that both the dice show the same number. So, two dice are cast. So, in one die there are six faces, in another die also there are six faces. So, totally when two dice are cast together, so what will be the probable outcome? So, that we have to decide. So, that will be the sample space here. So, when two dice are cast, what are the probable outcomes? Either in the first die I get one, second die also I may get one. Then first die one, second die two. So, three, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. So, I write all the sample space of the, when both the dice are cast. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Next is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Next, first die I get 3, second die 1, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Next is 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Next is 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So, these are the probable outcomes when two dice are cast. So, we call them as total as we have 36 outcomes. So, out of this 36 outcomes, we have to decide what are the favorable events here. Now, what is the first favorable event here? Both the dice show the same number. Now, let us see how many times the dice show the same number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, 6 times. So, I write it as A equals both show the same number. So, what are the favorable events here? We have counted it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, favorable events equals 6. Now, what are the total outcomes here? Total outcomes equals 36. So, that is 1 by 6. So, it will be 1 by 6 equals 
0 0.177. So that is the probability of get uh, of both the die showing the same number. So there is a probability of 0 0.17. 166 or I write it as 0 0.17. Then next one is the first dice shows 5. So first dice shows 5 always. So what is the probability? So we have to write favorable events by total outcomes. So how many times the first die will show 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 times. So this again will be 6 by 36 or 1 by 6 or 0 0.1666 or it is 0 0.177. So that is the answer. Now third one is sum of the numbers shown by the dice is exactly 10. So sum of numbers is 10. So how many times the sum of the numbers is 10? So we have to see 4 plus 6 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10. So there are 3 times that is when we get the numbers 4, 4 and 6 then 5 and 5, 6 and 4. So the favorable events are 3. Now favorable events equals 3, the total outcomes is 36, favorable events by total outcome. So favorable events are 3, the total outcome is 36, so I get it as 1 by 13. So when I simplify this 1 by 13, I get the answer as So the favorable events is 3, the total outcome is 36, so we get it as 1 by 13, that is 0 0.0138. Now the fourth one is the sum is divisible by 3. Now what are those outcomes where the sum is divisible by 3? So first we have 12 and 15, so 12, 15. Then in the next row we have 21 which is divisible by 3, 21, 24, then 33, 36, 42, 45, 51, then 54, 54, then we have 63. 66. So what are the possible outcomes here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the favorable events are 12. So the probability will be equal to 12 divided by 36 that is 1 by 3. So this will be 0 0.33 is the probability. So the probability of getting or numbers which are divisible by 3 is 1 by 3 that is 0 0.33. With this we come to the end of this session. Hope you have followed. Thank you.